What's going on guys, Gino here, and today we are talking about the JBL Extreme 3. Now this thing is 350 bucks, which is pretty pricey, but I am definitely impressed with what it brings to the table. But the question I want to answer here today is if this speaker is going to be a good option for yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look. And starting off with the build quality and design, the Extreme 3 is definitely impressive looking. We have this durable mesh that surrounds the entire speaker. And it looks really nice. And we also see this durable mesh in a lot of the other portable speakers these days. We have these big passive bass radiators that I guess you could say JBL is kind of known for. And the JBL logo here on the front is a little bit bigger than before and the whole entire thing is just a little bit updated and tweaked to be a little bit more improved. And I'll go ahead and pop a picture of its predecessor, the JBL Extreme 2, up on the screen here. And as you can see, the front is definitely different on the Extreme 3 and I think it does look a little bit better. Plus we have some additional subtle improvements like some better designs on the base radiators themselves. They're a little bit more premium looking. We have these super durable rubbery pads that weren't really there in the past with the Extreme 2, and it just helps with the durability aspect a lot. And on the bottom here, we have this kind of rubbery pad that is super grippy, and it's actually more beneficial than you'd think, because I can't tell you how many times in the past I've seen speakers getting push off of tables or desks or sliding around in cars and this rubber pad really helps it to stay in place. As you can see here, I'm like really pushing it and it's not really budging that much for how hard I'm pushing it. Now the unique thing about the JBL Extreme 3 here is that it has this shoulder strap which is really useful. It almost feels like a super high quality seat belt in a way and it has these really nice looking clasps and you can just hook it on at the speaker, like so, just like that. Go ahead and do the other one here. It's a little tough to get them onto the speaker. I think they did that for a reason. And then you can just bring the speaker like this and take it with you pretty much anywhere you want to bring it to. And I think this is just a really good design from JBL because there's so many times where your hands are full and you don't have an extra hand to hold a speaker, so you can just put this over your shoulder and then carry your other things with your hands. That being said, it is still a pretty large speaker coming in at about 4.3 pounds. So you won't really be able to fit this thing into a backpack unless there isn't anything else in the bag. But overall, I really do actually like its size because it's not too small so that we're lacking some of the benefits of having a larger portable speaker in terms of the audio aspect. And it's not too large like the JBL Boombox sometimes is so that you can't bring it everywhere you go. So it's kind of a nice size. You can still bring it places. It's still portable, but you also have that good audio, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And going back to this strap really quick, we actually have some rubber pieces right here. That's a little hard to see. I'll try to bring it closer to you guys. So we got these little rubber pieces right here. And this will just allow the speaker not to slide around on her shoulder as much, which is a really good design from JBL. Now in terms of the buttons, we have all of the regular controls that you'd see on any other speaker, like the power and Bluetooth button in the middle here. And then next to it, we have the volume buttons with the pause and play button. Now on the far left, we have the JBL party boost button. And essentially what this allows you to do is to pair other JBL speakers with the party boost ability together so that they can play music simultaneously. And this feature is really cool if you're having a party, you can pair multiple of these JBL speakers together that have the JBL party boost function. And it's kind of like a cool surround sound experience. Now behind the water resistant flap that we have here on the back, we have all of the ports we need like an auxiliary port, which is nice to see. And as well as a USB-C port for charging and also an HDMI port so that you can charge a device straight from the speaker. And when it comes to the battery life, the Extreme 3 has 15 hours of playtime, so you can keep your party running as long as you want, and you don't have to worry about constantly charging up the speaker, which is always a nice thing to have, right? A big battery life, 
not having to worry about charging it up all the time gives you that peace of mind. But once you do end up having to charge it up, it'll take roughly two and a half hours from being completely dead to fully charged. Plus we do also have Bluetooth 5.1 in this thing, so you're gonna have the best connection and range that's available as of today. And I was able to pair my phone to the speaker in like five seconds and I haven't had any issues with the connection whatsoever. Now the Extreme 3 is IP67 certified, which means it can be submerged in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. And it is also dust and sand resistant, so you don't have to worry about bringing this to a beach or a pool, and you don't have to worry about it being knocked into a pool because it floats as well, which is a really nice feature that GBL thought into the speaker, is that if it gets knocked into a pool, you'll easily be able to find it because it'll just float on the top and you can just grab it real quick instead of sinking to the bottom. Now, let's finally get to the most important part of the video, which is the sound quality. I have to say right away that I really do love the way this speaker sounds. The audio is quite powerful and can get pretty loud, and these bass radiators on the side here just give the bass like an additional boost, which I love as a bass fan. The audio also stays really clear at top volumes, which is really uncommon to find in a lot of portable speakers these days because most portable speakers especially the smaller ones once you get into the higher volumes it gets kind of distorted and that kind of stuff but with this thing i haven't noticed any of that and the audio seems to be really clear at pretty much all volumes and keeping it simple here if you're a bass fan then you're gonna love the audio in this speaker plus it's also clear and crisp and I'm really just a big fan of what this speaker sounds like. And of course, as always, I have an audio test for you guys, so I will go ahead and play that, and I'll see you after. I'm gonna tell you that I love you. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right, make up for what I. So that's what the speaker sounds like. I know it's not the best interpretation of the audio because you're listening to this speaker through your speakers on your device, whatever you're listening to this video with. 
but it is better than nothing. And final thoughts here, who is this speaker really for and would it be a good option for yourself? Well, if you're looking for a really powerful, rugged, portable speaker that has good bass, then you're going to love this speaker 100%. Yes, it is a little pricey at 350 bucks, but if you are looking for the exact things that this speaker has, it is an incredible option. That being said, for those of you who don't have a budget quite that high, you can still check out the JBL Charge 4, which I did a review on as well. And that's a good speaker as well, but it's not quite as good as obviously the JBL Extreme 3, which has better audio and it has the strap and it has just more premium features. If you guys want to check out the JBL Extreme 3 or the Charge 4, I will link them down in the description below for the most updated price. And I will also link my YouTube video for the Charge 4 down in the description as well. Now with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.